Hey, hey, what's up? Vagabond Pat here, chilling out in the van today. Uh, <laughs> windy out today. Super windy, that's why I got this bad boy right here. Good old bandana. It says, mother. I think I need... No, it says it the right way. This is just reverse the camera, you know what I'm saying? It's actually the other size side. It says, uh, revolution on this side right here oh down here it is huh so it says revolution can't really see it but revolution I'll tell you a story about this in a second we'll spark it up smoke it on some uh juiced gray label because I do have other labels, so I call this their gray label. Sunset Octane, pretty good. Just did the review on it, pretty fire, so I figure I'll smoke a quick blunt of it right now, too. But, anyway, I got this shit from, uh, like a Warp Tour. It was like, I think, Warp Tour 2007, I want to say. In, um... English Town Raceway, New Jersey. Um, but yeah... It was, uh, if anyone's familiar with skateboarding, uh, Mike Vallali, or just if anyone's familiar with badasses, because Mike Vallali, I think that's how you say their last name. People say it differently. But yeah, he, uh, badass dude. The one time he, like, whacked a security guard at, like, one of the skate jams with the skateboard. Because <sighs> he was, like, roughing someone up. And he said, oh, no, and he, like, whacked him in the back of the head with the trucks and stuff. Then there's a video of him and, like, four or five guys. They start shit with him, and he, like, takes his shirt off. Yo, he takes on all these guys, just destroys them real quick. And I'm like, oh, man, badass dude. But now he's, uh, I just saw something popped up on my Facebook, like, where he's playing with a uh, black flag, I think, right now. But I got the bandana from that Warp Tour because he had a band at the time, Revolution Mother. So yeah, so like 15 years later, I still have the bandana. It's a bandana I've kept. I've had two bandanas for like this long. I have a DVS and um, Hart and Huntington bandana too from when they uh, they did the collaboration. The skate shoe DVS did a collaboration with Hart and Huntington. They made a shoe and you bought the shoe and you got a bandana. So I still got that bandana too. But just a little quick story on the bandana. It's got like a skull with like a top hat bow tie roses bones kind of like motorcycle-y that's like their their vibe that you get from the band motorcycle -y, you know <coughs> i don't know if they're still making music or not <coughs> i'm gonna say i think they are but i don't know if mike's in the band still but anyway yeah so i still have this bandana and it was funny because um when we met Mike Villali, I was out there with the homie Ebriel. Ebriel, what's up, man? Love you, dude. Uh, yeah, we were out there. We met him and stuff like that at the booth. And uh, my buddy wanted to get punched by him, but Mike Mike wouldn't punch him. So, nice guy, because if it was me, I probably would have punched Earl. Sorry, Earl. Nah, I'm just fucking with you, man. I love you, man. You know, you know. Yeah, Earl wanted him to knock him out, though, too. He was like, don't just punch me, man. Knock me out, man. And so, yeah, but... Nah, we did get pictures with him. I don't know if we got the pictures, though, still. I might, though. But, um... Yeah, so just a quick little story on the bandana. And uh, I'm wearing the bandana because it's super windy out today, actually. You probably hear some of the wind whipping. You might see the van swaying and stuff like that. The van's rocking. The wind's just a-blowing, Okay? And nothing else happening in here. But, yeah, I got this on because it's super windy. Last night, there was like a fucking dust storm, man. Oh, it's crazy. Everything in the van, even with shit closed, is still kind of dusty. Well, yesterday, I didn't have the vent closed all the way. So, um, yeah, everything got dusty. But the winds are howling. It's going to be windy. Uh, I think for the rest of the week, it's going to be super windy. So, going to be fun, fun, fun. It's like 40-something degrees today, which isn't too bad because even 40 degrees in the desert isn't as, like, bad as, like, 40 degrees on the east coast I feel like the only reason 
why it does get bad is because of the wind. But the wind today is kind of carrying like a warmer breeze. Like sometimes the wind is just cold here. And if you could get out of the wind and stand in the sun, just standing there, you'll be like sweating because it's nice and warm. But as soon as that wind hits you, then it's like chilly again, you know? <coughs> so, but the wind's blowing like opposite <coughs> what it usually blows this time. What it usually blows is blowing opposite now. But yeah, last night I was up. I couldn't even see to the end of the parking lot here where I'm parked. And uh, crazy, man, crazy with all the damn sand. I could literally hear the sand pelting up against my damn jacket. It sounded like it was sleeping out or something like that. I almost went out and recorded, but I was like, I don't want to be out in this shit. But if it does get that bad again, I will record because that actually was kind of cool. But winds were at like 40 miles per hour last night. I was like, Jesus Christ. People be losing their mind in New York if it was uh, that windy. That's like hurricane winds, you know what I'm saying? Crazy. Out here it's like, eh, kind of normal in the winter time that it gets this windy. It's been windy a lot this winter. One time, rode out to Stizzy, which is, uh, <coughs> now I found that shortcut, so I've been taking that shortcut, and I knock about four miles off. So I do like 15 miles, you know, instead of like 19 and a half miles or whatever. But anyway, yeah, so... But I went the long way, which usually takes me anywhere 30 to 45 minutes, depending on how hard I'm riding. Most of the time I just cruise there, and it's nine and a half miles one way, nine and a half back the other way, you know, so. Going out there, man, took me over an hour and a half. The whole time I was struggling against the wind. Oh, it was miserable, man. Every time I stopped pedaling, I pretty much stopped moving. And it was just, Non-stop battle, dude. Uh, <laughs> that was the worst uh, day for riding. You know, the other day I got, or like a week or so ago, I got hit with some wind. The way out there wasn't bad, but once I got out there, then the wind picked up, and uh, I got hit with it the way back, and it took me over an hour to get back, too. And I was like, Jesus. <sighs> so, yeah, I'm just honestly bored today because of the wind. I've been doing some uh, some packing, going through stuff. I have to organize stuff, get rid of stuff over and over and over and over and over. I, uh, it's it's kind of stressful uh, getting ready for this bike ride just because there's like stuff, just stuff to do, man. You need to like, I'm like trying to make sure I have everything I need. I don't like my hair sticking out like that. It kind of looks weird. But anyway, yeah, I'm trying to like uh, make sure I have everything. Not take too much, but not have too little. No, that's the hardest thing, man. You know, so, we'll see. We'll see. I still have a bunch of stuff to sell. So, we'll see if I sell or not. I don't like, what, some of the stuff I don't sell, I'll just, like, take to a pawn shop out here, get a couple bucks for it. And a couple other things I'll just send back to New York. Sell them out there. <coughs> so, I'm actually kind of glad sending the van back to New York, because you get, like, next to nothing for it out here. It's going to get nothing for it out here, you know. And even though, technically, I still, uh, even if I got $1,000, I would have made money because I didn't have to pay rent, pretty much. You know, um, just the car insurance and gas and stuff like that. And when it breaks down, because I did have to do a lot of repairs. But even, so what I probably got, like, with purchasing the van... All the repairs I've done, and then what I've built out so far on the inside of it, and then throwing on, like, new tires, stuff like that. Everything, like, I put a ladder on the side, a tire rack on the back with the spare tire. So, I got anywhere from fifteen to 20000 into the van. And so, um, I still didn't, let's say, if, if I were to rent an apartment, I'd have to pay $1,000 a month. It's hard to find a minimum, minimum a thousand dollars a month, you know. So that's on a good, good deal, you know. <sighs> got two dogs at the time. I didn't have a cat, but now I got a cat too, you know. And on the ride, I don't know how she's gonna do. Said I, I want to keep her, but if I have to rehome her, I will. Cause I, uh, I was honestly gonna rehome her after two weeks. Um, she's just hanging around still, you know. I'm like, I, I go with the flow with her, you know. She came. 
So she came into my life randomly, pulled her out of the engine of my car. I kind of think she's a witch almost. There's a whole story, a whole thought process behind that because I started reading a book about a witch. And then she came, like, ghosting hour. I started hearing meowing and stuff like that. She's a black cat. Whoa, she got a little white spot, but her one eye's messed up and stuff like that. I was like, oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, so, and it's, just, it's, it's not really like a witchy book, but it's like, 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 uh, it's by Paula Coelho, uh, called Brida. They finally translated it to English, so I got it. I'm almost done with it, actually. I should finish it today or tomorrow. And, um, but, uh, yeah, because I've been reading this book over a year now, if you can tell. Because it's, uh, it's hard to read, man, when you got so many distractions, you know? <sighs> on the road, I'll be able to read more. Just hanging out on the tent and stuff like that. I read, when I backpacked, I did a lot of reading, a ton of reading, you know? Oh, when I li lived in my camper and stuff, in the van, I'll do some reading and stuff like that. So, but uh, I haven't been reading lately. But anyway, um, so, yeah, there's this lady that's a path of the moon, kind of witchy-like. So I'm like, oh, this is Buscemi, you know, she, she might be a witch. So, I uh, said so she might just disappear at one time. Huh? Who knows, who knows, who knows. I don't know if you hear that shit. Crazy, man. But, I forgot what I was saying. Oh, yeah, 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 because, man, you got to pay rent. Electric, you might have to pay, like, mo most apartments cover, like, water and garbage and stuff like that. But then you got to pay your cell phone still. You got to pay car insurance. You still got to pay gas. You still have to repair your car on top of that. So if you could live out of your car. But then when it does break down, um, for a while, when it was broken down, the guy had it for three months. Still didn't fix it. Bad, bad, bad situation. Um, but I was in a hotel for two weeks and I was like, ugh, can't afford it. I almost had to quit my job to find another place. But fortunately, my job was like, oh, just, just crash here, crash here, you know? <coughs> so, fortunately... I was able to crash there because it, it is like hospital, so techs stay there and stuff like that. So um, I was able to stay there, ch just hang out with the overnight animals, stuff like that, and stuff like that. When we had them in, the, yeah, they have a shower there and everything, so it worked out good, you know? Like, I still use a shower and everything. So Sometimes I hang out in there, sometimes I hang out in here, keep an eye on the place, you know? I just switch it up, you know? Because <sighs> you do get some, uh, some crazy people sometimes around here, so... But anyway, yeah, so, uh, yeah, like, it was 1500 bucks for the month, like 1600 I think, for the month for a hotel, because they don't do monthly rentals out here, really, you know, unless you stay at a crackhead motel, well, meth head motel out here, is, you know, the East Coast, we got the crackheads, you know, out here, they got the meth heads, so, yeah, and I was like, Jesus Christ, it's crazy, man, but anyway, yeah, so, still, even if I got rid of it for nothing, I still pretty much would have made out in the long run, you know? Especially because I'm not making payments on the van or anything. It's an old 1993 Ford, so I bought it for like 4000 Not bad, 135000 on the engine. Engine runs great. Engine's solid, you know? It's just a damn transmission that I've had issues with. So, uh, eh, so my dad wants it, you know? And I already made a video on this, but I feel like talking about it again, you know? Because... That's cool. That's cool with this going out there. Two or three years, I'll take it back, you know? Because I'm giving it to him. He's just paying for the shipping on it, you know? So he wants it. He'll use it for a couple years. Whenever I want it back, it'll get back to me. Out there, uh, when I go out to New York, I said, I don't know how long I plan on staying in New York. I don't know if I plan on staying there for a long, for, uh, at least for a short period of time, you know? Because I do love it there. Um, that is my home, you know? Well, the road will be home, you know, wherever I set my tent up at the night, technically, but that's where I'm from, you know, so I'm going to go camping there a lot, you know, um, tons of woods, tons of mountains and stuff like that, the only thing is, I gotta draw, I gotta ride the bike up the mountain every night, pretty much, to go camp out in the mountain, so it's a pain in the ass, but hey, you know, sometimes I'll, I'll probably camp in a homie's yard or something for the night or something like that, sometimes I'll come stay in the van if it's like bad weather or something like that, but I'm gonna go out and Originally, I was going to go to Prague and stuff like that, but with the job shutting down, then I was like, oh, this is my opportunity right now to uh, to ride a bike cross country. So I spent my money on to ride the bike cross country, and I was hoping to actually sell the van out here and use that money to go to Prague, but I don't mean, get next to nothing out here for it, so <clears throat> I said I might as well just give it to my dad. That way, he'll have it for a couple of years, and if, if he's like in a year or so, hey, take it back. I'll, I'll take it back, you know?
that works out better that way because once I'm a uh, If I were to like sell the van, sell the van, completely homeless. So, you know, at least this way I'll have like something to pretty much fall back on, you know. So, but this will give me um, more encouragement, I think, to ride the bike more and try to do this whole cross country streaming more and more once I start doing it. <clears throat> we'll see how it goes. I know days will be miserable, times will be tough, but times will also be great. Times of times will be great, you know. So, um, I think knowing that, like, oh, I could ride the bike for two years around, hopefully, you know, we'll see, we'll see. And, um, and then just go back, get some work back in New York, get the van, you know, and take off in the van when I save money again, you know. So, I think that's a better plan than just, uh, selling the van, having some money banked, because then, you know, I'd like to go see my brother in Prague. Hopefully, hopefully, uh, sometime soon I will, you know. So I'm gonna uh, try to sell some art on the road just for cheap, but hopefully I make some money doing that. I'll be able to like save some of that and stuff like that, uh, you know. And then I'd, I'd eventually like to uh, do a ride in Prague, you know, like a bike ride in Prague. So who knows? We shall see. If this ride across America goes well, then if I do some more riding across America. We'll hit up other countries, you know, for sure, for sure. Because then I'll get some links, get some work, and stuff like that, get a passport and everything, you know. So, uh, you got to put it out there into the universe. Anything you want to do, you can do, you know. And this is something that's not, like, impossible to do that I'm doing. It's hard, but if I want to go out of the country, I don't, I don't really know, know much about that stuff. So, uh, try to. I actually know someone I could contact though that does like a I should, I should hit her up <sighs> met her on the Appalachian Trail she does uh travels all over the world now with all these work things and stuff like that I'm guessing that's how she does it but <sighs> like when I met her on the Appalachian Trail if I were to see her today I would not even recognize her in a good way though you know like looks like a whole new person just from like traveling and getting the exercise and stuff like that I'm like whoa man Crazy. But like I said, I'm just bored. Want to smoke? Want to ramble? There ain't no uh. I don't know. I don't know the word I was looking for, but yeah, this is random. This weed tastes really good. This sunset octane by Juice. If you've had it, let me know. Said I'll be uploading the review for this one later in the week. It is Wednesday. I'll probably upload it Friday or Saturday. Um, because I just did the uh, the review on the uh, Sunset Sherbert not too long ago. Check that one out if you haven't. I don't know how to like link it. You know, on the actual video, I don't know none of that stuff yet, so I can't do that. But uh, and then um, Gelato High Octane. Yeah. yeah. So, I just did the review on that one, too. So, I said, this is Sunset Octane. So, I'm going to upload the review this week. Because it kind of falls into place with what I've just done, you know? But I do have some that I've banked recently. And then a ton of old ones still banked. Uh, probably next week, I'll start uploading some of the banked ones. Start banking new ones, you know? We'll see. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I said, before I bank them for the bike ride because I might not always be able to review weed in non-legal states and stuff like that because I don't go looking for it or anything like that I don't know if I really trust stuff off the streets too much you know you know I buy weed off the streets so still I'm buying shitty weed in the Walmart parking lot reviewing it on here so go check that out well I've only done that twice on here you know I think twice from Walmart one, one from the dollar store parking lot so I You know, the one guy out here, I gave him like food a couple times and stuff like that. He didn't ask for it, just, just, just cause like, like so, some people would like hook me up with, with some good food. So I'm like, oh, I'll hook him up. Cause he lives out of his car and stuff. So, and he don't smoke weed. He does, he does the meth. So, he, uh, 
He'd be like, oh, someone gave me some weed today, man. So here, man, so give me food. Or, or I'll give him like like some water or something like that. I get a couple of drinks or something, you know, make sure he's good, you know. I was thinking about like, like down there, like people actually like, like almost look out for each other down there, you know. So some of the people that stay in their cars and stuff like that, like, you kind of park next to each other and stuff like 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 if you know they they were okay like like he was a tweaker but he was okay like i wouldn't even i wouldn't even guess honestly that he's a method uh, until i saw him smoking the meth in there but i was like oh man i mean, it was crazy you know but yeah a couple of them were really cool and uh we just kind of looked out for each other you know and shoot good times good times you know I miss van life, but I'll be happy to be camping again. And I'll be back in the van in a couple of years, you know. Who knows? Maybe with my dad, when my dad has it, I'll try to throw some money into it, like put a lift on it and stuff like that. Uh, you know, I was thinking, like, this guy had a badass one. The same year and everything's mine. And he did a lot of work to it. He, like, cut the roof and extended the roof. Because if you see, I'm sitting on my cooler, and that's my head right there touching the roof. I could almost sit up straight, you know, my head's on there, you know. So, uh, my hair's a mess. I'm losing hair. I'm losing hair. But it's okay, because I got thick hair. So, the hair loss isn't... It's not that bad, you know? Not too bad. I got dandruff, though. You know? I'm part to the side, you know? There we go, baby. But anyway, yeah. So, thanks for watching. Greatly appreciate it. Uh, stay positive. Spread the good vibes. Give people a chance. You know the deal. Like, comment, subscribe. Um... Yeah, that's it. Bag of ball and pet, I'm out. Just a random smoke session. Another day in the life. Peace.